Welcome again to the session of model analysis. This is our third and last part. Uh, previously, we have considered a problem of three degree of freedom system, and then we have developed the eigenvalue problem. From eigenvalue problem, we calculated normal modes, and uh, uh, in the second part, we developed the orthonormal modes. In this session, we will try to develop the model analysis formulation for the given problem. This is my problem. I am having three masses of 3, 2 and 1 values and 3 stiffness of 3 springs 6, 3 and 2 and 3 displacement x1, x2 and x3. In the model analysis, we considered a solution vector which is the product of two quantity. We can see here that the solution or response of the system x can be represented by two the summation of two quant, uh, quantities that is the un and the q un is nothing but uh, uh, our uh, mass orthonormal modes which we have calculated previously and that normal modes are multiplied with a model coefficient if i will open this term i'll get that the x will be equal to the uh, first uh, mode and q1 second and mode than q2 and third one q3 i can rearrange these and i can get these va two vectors and for the simplicity and for in further uh, development i am using the uh, for the orthonormal modes and q for this matrix and this vector q1 q2 and q3 so now uh, when i will put this general solution into my governing equation which is my mass matrix displacement is acceleration vector stiffness matrix and the displacement vector i'm not taking taking any force this time so this equation is uh, my uh, equation for a cyst undamped system which is having um, just uh, which is which is freely vibrating so now when i will put this solution into my governing equation uh, i'll get the x double dot will be replaced by the quantity un and q double dot since my q is a time dependent quantity so the it will be only converted into the time derivative and un is a constant value which is basically representing the spatial values coordinates so it will not be uh, it will be come out it, it will it will come out from the differentiation so finally i'll get the equation m u q double dot plus k u n q is equal to zero now if i will multiply my equation with the transpose of my orthonormal mode modal matrix i'll get this equation in this equation we can see here that this quantity is nothing but it will give an identity matrix at the same time this quantity will give me a diagonal matrix which will represent the three natural frequencies if i will further open this uh, matrix form i will get set of three equations in which i can say that these three equations are decoupled equation and can be considered as a single degree of freedom equations which is representing that i am having the three system of mass and stiffness and my displacement is now considered as q1 similarly it will be for the second mass and third mass where the masses will be generalized mass and stiffnesses are generalized stiffness so here i can understand that the philosophy of model analysis in which what i have done i have replaced a three degree of freedom system into three individual single degree of freedom system where the response can be calculated by using the response of individual single degree of freedom system now uh, let's move for a force vibration case so for that purpose i have considered the same problem but now in this case i have considered that the three masses are there and uh, i am applying a harmonic force on the second mass and the equation of force is f not 2 cos omega f t where this f not 2 as a constant quantity and it is showing the amplitude of force omega f is the frequency of external force t is the time and uh, i have taken the frequency of 10 hertz therefore my omega f will be 2 pi 10 so now 
if i will write the equation of motion for this system again i will have the mass matrix 3 2 1 this is my dis acceleration vector this is my stiffness matrix and this is my displacement vector but now i am having a value of force at the right hand side of my equation uh, so this is my force vector 0 f to 0 it represents that I am applying a force at the second mass and for the first and third mass I am not having any force. I can reduce this equation into symbolic form by writing the mx double dot plus kx is equal to f. Again to apply the model analysis formulation to use uh, to develop the model analysis formulation let's put a general solution into my equation of motion when I will put this general solution into equation of motion again I will get that mass and the orthonormal mode modal vector q double dot k model vector q and f quantity this f is same to this quantity now when I will multiply my equation with the transpose of model matrix I'll get this quantity which is a identity matrix the second quantity which will give me the diagonal matrix of uh, uh, three natural frequency but this third quantity which is the product of now now product of the transpose of orthonormal vector and the force vector this quantity is represented with uh, the new name that is the generalized force and I am representing it by a symbol Q so now uh, you can uh, recap the, the force vibration case that I have considered the equation of motion this is my system I am having a force on, on the second mass I have written the equation of motion for this system then I am having the force on the second mass I am applying the general solution into my equation which is the product of two quantity one is the normal vector and second one is the a time dependent model coefficient when I will put this value I am getting this equation in this equation instead of force I am having a product of my force vector with the transpose of orthonormal modal matrix and that is represented by Q when I will solve this quantity I will I'm, I'm showing here this is my transpose of my orthonormal vector and this is my force vector when I will multiply these these two quantities I am getting a Q vector which is having the three generalized force along with the three time functions uh, so here now you please understand that in in the real system I am having a force only at the second mass but when I am transporting my system into a virtual space where I am having three independent single degree of freedom system I am having three forces uh, acting on each virtual system now let's move further and write these equations independently so I am having now three equations for Q1, Q2 and Q3 uh, these equations can be considered as a single degree of freedom force vibration uh, uh, system uh, uh, equations basically I can solve these three equations using the philosophy which I we considered for solving the force vibration problem of a single degree of freedom system which can be represented by this single equation so the solution of this equation if I am not having any initial conditions uh, for my system I will be having